My name is Laura Drapp. I'm an interpreter here for the Department of Fish and Wildlife. And we are at Nimbus Fish Hatchery where we've just opened the ladder for the season for the first time to allow salmon to come up from the river to the hatchery where we'll start collecting their eggs. This is our favorite day of the year. We look forward to it all year. Uh, we've been watching the salmon gather in the river and they're, they've been waiting, we've been waiting, and now we get to, to see them come up the ladder. It's, you know, it's a cycle of life and it's the cycle of seasons. It happens every year and it has for thousands of years. So it's a wonderful opportunity to sort of reconnect with nature and with this, um, the annual turn of the season. So we definitely were excited for that. The public come out in great numbers um, to see it happen. <laughs> The fish will be killed. That's the natural end of a life um, cycle for salmon here when they come back to spawn. So they're killed here so that we can harvest those eggs quickly and save eggs from the female, about 5,000 on average, are fertilized with milk from the male. And then we start raising those eggs in our hatching jars here in the hatchery building. We'll be using some chilled water, since the river water is a little bit warm still to make sure that those eggs are able to develop properly. It takes on average about 55 days for those eggs to start hatching out, and then we'll raise them inside our hatchery building until they are free swimming and able to come out into our raceway ponds, which will be probably in about March. We keep them until they're about six months old, about uh, six inches long, and 60 to a pound, and then we release them back into the river.